Hey guys, welcome back to Die Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We are on episode 29. This is body's normal. I know, I'm so sick of that green thing. I just really, the sports bra piece confuses me. <laughs> like a mock turtleneck sports bra. Hot anime guys wear crop tops. Fair enough. I don't know about the little 90s mini skirt, but... <laughs> Definitely crop top. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, even if it was just a crop top, it would be different. Like, if I think you, it's the like mock a, neck. Yeah, it's like, the mock turtleneck. Yeah, it feels like a central command with the sleeves cut off. Yeah. It's like if it was just like a regular crop. Yeah. You guys are plastered with filth. I never would have guessed they were beneath the command center. The entire military might be involved. But hey, there is some good news in all of this. You saw it? My body's still in there. It is. I tried to reach out for it, but it said that it couldn't go with me. My body, it still exists. Yes. And now that we know it's there, we're one step closer to getting it back. Oh, what's that weird little cat doing in here? Uh, you know that little girl? Are you serious? She's inside your armor? Hey, what's the holdup? Get a move on. <laughs> 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 you really have to bring her along with us? What else was I supposed to do? Hey! <laughs> Wrath will take over babysitting you now. <laughs> Wrath is Fuhrer King Bradley? Yep. What's going on? Where should I begin? Fury's been shipped south. Fallman's been sent up north. Braid has been reassigned to the west. Lieutenant Hawkeye is now a personal assistant to the Fuhrer. The hell is this? They're practically holding them hostage. The guards left us alone. There's three of us and only one of him. He's only got one sword with him. So he's that confident he could take us all at once. Fuhrer, <laughs> so what was that in the hospital that day when you came to visit me? You really had us going, didn't you? I don't recall lying. I instructed you to suspect everyone and not to meddle any further. The only thing that you need to know is that you're important to us. Accept the importance of your role and keep your heads down. You do that and no harm will come to you. Well, that's great for us. But what happens to all the people who aren't lucky enough to be considered sacrifices? There's nothing you need to know that I haven't already told you. Is that clear, full metal alchemist? Sheesh. You chose that as my title. I only joined the military because I thought it might help us get our bodies back. Well, I'm not gonna let you use me to accomplish your sick goals. I resign my title as a state alchemist. The symbol of a dog, fittingly crusted with blood. Your plans are gonna fail. I swear on my own grave that I'm gonna stop you. I'll warn the other state alchemists. I'll tell them- What was that lovely young girl's name again? <laughs> ah, yes. It's Winry Rockbell. Wow. Your auto mail engineer. And you grew up with her in Risenbool as well, if I'm not mistaken. I've heard that she's made quite a name for herself with her customers in Rush Valley. Such a sweet and trusting girl. Well, you stay away from her. That's Just really her out of this. quite sick. Yep. Well, that's up to you. If you'd rather not take it, then I will simply have to cut her down. How thoughtful. Uh. Sir, you don't have to worry about us, but I have to ask, if we're going to continue to serve under your watch, will you please allow us to keep searching for a way to get our original bodies back? I don't see why not, as long as you don't interfere with our plans. And what do you have in mind, Colonel? You wouldn't do something so petty as to quit the military. Good question. I'm on a short leash here, and I still find that preferable to giving up. And I still have my ambitions. Your plans don't change that. So I'll hang on to this, and I'll retain my rank, too. Dang. That's fine with me. We have nothing more to discuss. Do you I think that they're putting more, like, seven sins sir, inside their bodies? Would you know? Are you the one who murdered General Hughes? <laughs> no, that was not me. It was Envy. You did. Colonel, I agreed to one question. Envy did it. Just one moment, Alphonse. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Is that all? That's all. You are now dismissed. What just fucking happened? There's no way he missed. <gasps> that was too close. <laughs> oh, hey, Colonel. 
Help us out. Have you got any change? You want my money now? Well, you got, really? It's apparently more than you got! Sure, whatever. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> hey. Sorry, Colonel. We'll explain everything later. What the hell's with them? Lieutenant! Is there something troubling you, Colonel? You seem slightly discomposed. I had hoped a young woman would be standing there, not a mustachioed muscle man. Colonel? Lieutenant. I was getting worried. Uh, Lieutenant Hawkeye, reporting back to post from latrine break, sir. Major Armstrong happened to be passing by. He was nice enough to watch my post for me. So you didn't run off. Someone once told me to never give up, no matter what. Just don't ever tell me you'd wished you'd run when you'd had the chance. Right? Well, this is a surprise. You didn't break your auto mail again, did you? What? No! I'm calling because... Is everything all right? Mm, the phone you noticed anything mm -hmm. weird? Like any suspicious people following you? Well, Ed. What is it? You're creeping me out. <laughs> well, it's actually pretty rare to get a call from you. And I've never heard you worry about me. Well, fine, baby, I won't worry! Thank you, Ed. <laughs> really? Thank you. Uh, sure. You're certain everything's okay, right? Yeah. Okay, bye. I think she's still safe for now. You know, it's that kind of desperate worry they're gonna manipulate you with. Ah, fling! No, it's greed, still. What do you want? <laughs> Your pal asked me to bring this to you. Fling did? It's in some other language. Yeah, it is. But he just wants you to deliver it to some girl. Is this some kind of trick? Because if you follow us and try to kill her... <laughs> I've got more class than that, all right? And as a rule of thumb, I don't fight women. And another rule of mine is to never tell a lie. But hey, it's your call. Oh, sh I guess we're gonna see what they're... Well, that was a hard cut. Yeah, I was like, what the hell am I looking at? Who is that godless monster? What cause would bring him to initiate a civil war and ravage an entire country? Is someone there? <laughs> Who is that? Did you come from outside? I can help you if you're injured. Let me help you with your injuries. I'm actually a doctor. So you're in Ishvalan. Was your head wounded in the... You're not the one known as Scar, are you? Tell me who you are first. And what are you doing down here? <laughs> this must be fate. I'm the alchemist responsible for the extermination of your people. <laughs> It's nothing serious. Just a mild concussion. I'm so relieved. Well, I'm sure as hell not. You seem to think this is a hospital. You've filled my house with patients. I'm You're not back, Alphonse. For injured Lord young God. girls. What are you doing? You shouldn't be out of bed. The young Lord, isn't he with you? He's not, but he's still alive. I've got a message from him. It says he found a philosopher's stone. The young lord has saved our clan. And now we have to return to our country. We've got to get the news to our people. Where is he? Will you take me to him? Uh, What's wrong? Why are you being so quiet? Has something happened to the young lord? Please talk to me, Alphonse. Where is the prince? Well, what do you think of that? Truth under greed? <laughs> like, wh wh how would you even describe that? Like, He's great. Listen to this. It's royalty. The kid was a prince of Shang. The funny thing is, he let me take control. He thought I could make him emperor or something. I spoke to him once about politics. His naive theories on leadership were amusing. He said a king's duty is to his people, as if the people actually mattered when ruling a country. Just look where his allegiance to the people has gotten him now. Typical human. Shut the hell up! Don't underestimate humans! Oh, dang. I know, I know. He's patient, just waiting for any chance he can get. <laughs> he must be starting to reconsider his ambitions now that he's taken a monster like you into his flesh. I don't know. Will he be able to, like, overcome greed? Sure. Never heard another... Well, I guess we haven't really seen another human host, though, either. It can't be. The only thing I've ever wanted to do is protect my fellow countrymen. <sighs> I'm not the only one. So many soldiers have put their trust in the military. You could resign, Major. But with your disposition, I'm afraid you'll suffer otherwise. How can we fight a war like this? It's wrong, Major! You're disobeying an order! You're dismissed! I collapsed in Ishval. 
I couldn't bring myself to stay and fight. The military's methods were ghastly. I could see the malignants. I chose to turn away and run when I should have fought to protest their actions. That decision, it's haunted me every day since then. Oh, wow. It made me sick that I abandoned my beliefs. Now that I face the military again, I have to fight. Oh, I wow. I myself yeah. if I ran away now. Go off, Major Armstrong. How do you plan on handling all of this, Colonel? The Fuhrer seemed like he was downright eager to reveal his true nature as a homunculus to me. It appears he wants me to know there's someone even more powerful giving him orders. Seems they're testing me. I have to admit I'm honored. You seem surprisingly calm. I don't know. It's just, well, it's similar to how I felt during the battle with Lust. I never feel more human than when I'm fighting real monsters. Hmm. Strong line. I see. He accepted the stone and let the beast take control. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I'm only upset with myself for being unable to protect him. He's not gone. He's just trapped inside of this greed creature, right? I need your help. I want a new arm as soon as possible. I need an auto mail engineer now. Please help me. <laughs> Winry, <laughs> get back on that train. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'll introduce you soon. Uh, I don't think you should be up yet. It's uh, Mei Cheng, right? Mei? <laughs> of course it's I would have gone. beef. You're a watchdog for the Yao Clan. I know you too. You're the Cheng heiress. I'm the 17th daughter, Princess Mei Cheng. I also know why you're in this country. To obtain immortality. Too bad you won't live to see me get it. You won't even leave this room, princess. Hey, just hold on a minute. I don't <laughs> the know what panda. this is about, but you can't fight like this. We're trying to interfere with the affairs of our country. What the hell do you two think you're doing? <laughs> oh, you're wasn't she already to be resting in bed? We're trying to interfere with the affairs of I don't care about the affairs of your country, dumbass. It doesn't matter where you're from. You're both my patients. You're not planning on making an even larger mess around here, are you? Huh? Because if you do, you might release an unknown pathogen from the floorboards and kill everyone in the house. Perfect. How could it get messier in here? Thanks for taking the time to come by. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you came. I was honestly starting to get a little worried. <clears throat> it worked. I'm able to use my alchemy again. Hey, very nicely done up there. That takes care of all of our repairs for the day. Yeah, you can always rely on a state alchemist. These other alchemists around here just can't compare. You should have seen those guys. We had a couple of local alchemists helping us with repairs this morning. All they really ended up doing was looking foolish, though. They came strolling in here like they were the very best. And the next thing you know, their alchemy wouldn't work. You said this morning was when we were underground. Mr. Alchemist, thanks again. Yeah, Thank I want to figure that out. Hmm. I know Envy told me that just mindless energy just doesn't feel right to me. Which means I'm not fully convinced. The alchemy. Those guys were right, and we weren't the only ones who couldn't transmute this morning. How come Scar and that little girl were able to use theirs? What does that mean? What does it mean? Yeah, because it's like the makes sense. The other the one, other yeah. Teach it to me. Like so medical. Maybe I can use it to get Al's body back. Take down that bearded bastard. Oh yeah, I've got to get this to the lieutenant. All right. Okay. Is there another? Okay, they do be putting stuff at the end here. They forced me to follow through with their plans. I made a stone for them, and I used the lives of countless Isvalans to do it. And now, they're forcing me to cooperate on an experiment that's likely to result in another genocide. I beg you, please stop it. You have to kill me, please. Please take my life. My own death is the only form of revenge that I have. Your appearance here, right now, you're like a god to me. Tell me everything about Ishval. I want to hear the entire story. What did you use my people for? You'll tell me all of 
minutes. Give me the truth before my right hand destroys you. My brain hurts. I don't even know. Oh, okay. So they they get out. They walk him through. They sit down with Fuhrer Bradley, right? So then he's like, okay, you guys just be good little sacrifices and don't get into trouble. Find your bodies. I, Go ahead. I feel like it's like kind of fun for for um, Fuhrer Bradley. Yeah. It's like now you all know. Yeah, I'm evil and I'm better than you and I am. Because I think the homunculus, homunculi take pride in being homunculi. Yeah. And they feel superior. So to be able to say that like, hey, um, I'm more superior than you. I like, feels nice. Yeah. And then it's just like, can't really do anything. Sorry. So just do what I say. Yeah. Happy that they didn't stab homegirl. And yeah. Now. So, all right. Well, I am ready for the next episode. So, all right, guys. We will see you there. Bye. Bye.